Good morning. We're just now leaving Josh's. I need to check the oil and the coolant level because I haven't checked them since we left and we need to hit the road because Jaylene is going live and we got to get all the way back to the shop. So let's get moving. The next day. Oh. 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 <laughs> Number one. Are you a bobsled team? Ah. Cool runnings. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of uh, people glamorizing van life and bus life. Look at this right here. Right there. That's not glamorizing bus life. This is realistic bus life. Jaylena, isn't that what it is? Realistic bus life? Uh huh. That's right. Look, ladies and gentlemen. That's all you Filipino. Get what you get. <laughs> That's all Filipino right there. <laughs> yeah. nom, nom, nom. Ah, nom, nom. Nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. What do you say? Look, Ember. What do you say? Do you say wham, wham, wham? No, no, you're. No, you can't have that, bro. We just got done shooting the bus tour uh, and that video is already out so if you have missed that video somehow the bus tour will be in the description below go check it out let's get back to your bus life and vlog Y'all, I just had to share this moment. 
That, ladies and gentlemen, is a waffle breakfast sandwich, courtesy of the lovely Jaylena. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Let's dance. Had to abandon chip on that fire. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a sad day. I gotta go do my books so I can do my taxes. And it's beautiful outside. We got all the fans on, the windows open. Feels great, yeah. sunny. I gotta say, I'd rather go do a brutal bus build day than go sit in front of a computer all day doing numbers. But I guess we'll go see how bad it is, so I better get to it. The next day. I'm pretty proud of this. I've been cooking more since we've been in the bus. That's what I call a Filipino breakfast bagel. And Ember's <laughs> mad at us right now. I'm going to eat that with a good old-fashioned Tropicana. Jaylena and I have decided we're going to be skinny and hot again. And we found about this product called Kachaba. This is not sponsored. And uh, it's supposed to be like an all-in-one meal shake thing. Uh-oh. We're going to try it. I'll uh, let you know what we think here in a second. And I'll put a link in the description for that stuff if we like it. I don't know. I'm trying to tell you what I think about it. it tastes like a shake. <laughs> Full disclosure. This stuff is like $100 a bag. It's supposed to be like a meal replacement. I don't know. I'll let you know if I'm hungry later, I guess. But I'm not like thinking this is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life or anything. I don't know. We'll see if I'm not hungry. That's a big one. Y'all, I forgot I was filling the water tank. Let me show you what happened. That sucker is full. You can see it bowing up there. Woo, that's a hazard. Don't be doing that. All right. I'm eating a snack. I don't think that drink worked very well, but it seems kind of nice.
we're going to meet up with Jackson from uh, Floating Ore Productions. They're going to do a tour of the bus today. We are hopping through. We're late. We just got done doing a premiere that took longer than we thought. So we're going to get over there and then finish cleaning. Alright, let's go. Let's go. What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, how's it going? What's up? Mind if I do some behind the scenes stuff? Totally fine. I don't have yeah. to. But... No, feel free. <laughs> so, <laughs> seems fair. So, uh oh. So that's Jackson from uh, Floating Ore Productions. Hey. And uh, if you don't know that channel, go check it out. It'll be below, and we'll have this tour there somewhere, sometime. Sometime soon, yeah. Yeah. Dude, so great to see you. <laughs> yeah, dude. What's up? Here, you yeah. me it's DJI. Can I just clip it? So yeah, if you clip it so that the big part's facing towards you and the little clip's facing towards the camera, so kind of like that. So it'd be great to start with, uh, let's do an interview to start with, I think. I'm filming. Oh, uh, that's all right. <laughs> okay, tell me what you need. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll start with the uh, make model year, like, like miles, miles per gallon even, any, any, anything that's... Uh, <laughs> nice. A little bit of spice. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Perfect. Let's let's center you guys a little bit more. So like yeah, right down the middle here. Fantastic. Do a wide shot first. Oh, ember. Da da. Da 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 da. <laughs> there we go. Get in the way. Razor focus. Still are gonna go to the woods and do something cool. Totally. I'll do it as long as I need to. Bus life isn't always magical locations. It isn't always hot springs. It isn't always driving down the road to some location. Uh, you, you hear a lot about people glamorizing bus life or van life, and they're just always in Baja, Mexico, or doing something crazy. And I, I just don't think that's like honestly like believable. And the one thing I always want to do here is show you be real. I'm always going to be real with you, and I'm going to show you what's real. Sometimes we're just going to sit around for a couple of weeks in our bus and hang out as a family. Sometimes I'm going to record a voiceover, and I have a child in the background playing because that's real life. I think it's important to make this something, just kind of bring awareness to this. and like. So this is just a couple of weeks of us bus life in and taking care of a few things and I don't know I always want to be authentic and I think this is an important piece that is kind of missing in the bus life van life space so I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next week